Hello there, my name is Ismaus and uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, how you can make uh, this kind of simulation. Just a, a basic cube uh, deforming uh, or just a rigid uh, cube falling down and uh, deforming as it falls and retaining uh, the deformations after uh, the simulation or after it falls down. So this is like a, a continuation to my tutorial series uh, I've just released on my second channel, uh, Blender Money, that covers the basics of uh, rigid bodies in Blender. So I wanted to get the basics out of it, out of the way, so that we can go to the more advanced things. So if you have, if you don't, if you don't really understand the basics of uh, rigid body physics in Blender, uh, I would recommend you watch uh, this tutorial series uh, so that you get uh, the basics down. Uh, because I'll be rushing through uh, some of the things in this because uh, it's a, it's going to be a more advanced uh, tutorial instead of going step by step and uh, talking about things. So let's see how we can make this. So I'm just going to open up a new Blender project here. Let me just pause this. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is make those steps are where the cube is go the cube is going to fall. So I'll just go and uh, first turn off the. So let me first turn on uh, my random colors and also turn on uh, these screen keys if you want to see what I'm pressing. So we're going to just use the default cube and uh, just move that up so that we can create other stairs. I'm going to scale this plane like this and now I can go to edit mode and uh, select these edges uh, so that I can create uh, the steps. Just going to be doing something very basic here. So extrude Z, extrude Y, extrude Z, extrude Y, extrude Z, extrude Y. So these are going to be our stairs. Let me also turn on cavity so that we can see the edges more clearly and uh, maybe scale this down just a bit. Now, the first thing we want to, to have is this uh, falling down the stairs animation and uh, for that we're going to be using the rigid body system uh, to get that. So just move this up here maybe give it a slight rotation uh, if i play back nothing is happening uh, because we haven't set up uh, the rigid body system i've just reduced uh, my timeline so that it doesn't have to play 250 frames i don't need that many so i can select the cube go to the rigid panel uh sorry the physics panel and that make sure that this is a rigid body object if i play back now you can see it's just falling through but i want it to collide with the uh, with the steps so i'll just give it a type passive and uh, i also want I don't want it to just slide off the stairs. I want it to bounce off uh, the stairs like uh, like a normal cube would do for uh, for stairs, for steps like this. So I'll change the collision shape uh, from convex hull uh, to mesh. Uh, convex hull is just an optimized uh, version of uh, of the shape. Uh, so let me just use the, the actual shape, uh, which is the steps here, so that this can collide as expected. Let me ju just move it a bit forward here. Now you can see, yeah, that's the animation we want to have. I'll also just select these faces, edges, push them up, forward, and uh, we have that. Now, I'm happy with the animation, so I'll just go into uh, the rigid body world and make uh, that animation. And uh, that's good for me. So now let's start working on this soft body part. So for that, I'll just duplicate this and see, I'm just making sure that uh, it retains the same position and rotation as, as the object. And uh, then I'll just subdivide this a few times. I like that because we're going to be using the soft bodies uh, simulation of soft body system uh, to simulate uh, the deformations and that requires a few uh, polygons. So after that, I can parent uh, this soft body. Uh, also, want to make sure you want to make sure that uh, you remove uh, the rigid body system from this object, uh, so that we don't have it. Uh, but uh, we we still want it to have the animation. So I'm just going to parent it to the original object. Control P. Uh, now, if I play back, it copies uh, the same animation as the original object. I'll just hide the original object because we're just using that to capture the animation or the movement of the cube. Now we can start working on the soft body simulation. So let me select this and uh, go to the physics panel, set up the soft body. So I already have experimented with a few settings here to use uh, for this. 
So that's what I'm going to looking for here. I'm just going to be just going to use the same settings I used already. So now if you play back, you can see the first thing you will notice uh, if you start playing back the simulation that this is kind of has a spring effect and the, the reason for that is because of this goal uh, property set on uh, but uh, we still want that to be set on except that uh, we just want to play around with the settings here uh, to get to make sure that uh, this object is stiff enough and uh, retains the deformation uh, that it that comes after the collision with the with the steps so I'm just going to copy the settings I used uh, so that you, you can also use them and uh, play with that. So the first thing we want to change is the stiffness here. I want that to be to, to be set to 0 0.1. And uh, you can always play back and see. Uh, sometimes you need to move your cursor after the end of the timeline and they play back so that uh, Blender just recatches uh, the entire thing. I'm just going to put the settings here. Uh, so that we just see the final thing, but uh, you can always put in one setting at a time to see how it's affecting uh, the simulation. Uh, but uh, for me, if I did that, this it would this tutorial will get too long uh, since uh, soft body simulations are a bit slow when you're trying to uh, play them back after before you catch it. So, and then uh, you want to set the default value, uh, this value under strength, uh, to zero point sorry zero point eight, and then. Uh, the minimum value should be set to 0.98 then the max maximum value should stay as one then st stiffness uh, you will find that under let's see stiffness is under yeah we already said that i uh, want to set uh, the plasticity uh, basically how how much of the deformation uh, the shape will retain after collision so for that oh another thing you will notice is that uh, this cube is just going through our mesh and that's not something we want i want this cube to collide with this with these steps and for that we need to have these uh, these steps as a collision object uh, so that this can collide so that our uh, soft body can collide with uh, it so we also want this to be stiff uh, we don't these we don't want the deformations to be this high so we can go under uh, uh, bending and increase that to 10 and uh, also change the plasticity from zero to one so that uh, the soft body can retain uh, the deformations uh, that happens. So I think that's it. Uh, also, you need to change uh, the damping uh, to from zero to 50 so that would reduce how much deformations we have. You can see that this is deforming too much uh, for my liking, so let's see. you can see that uh, after adding that dump you can see we don't we're not getting that much deformation and uh, with the plastic with the plasticity value we set uh, we are retaining some of the deformations uh, we have you can see how this looks uh, rigid uh, soft body simulations are a bit slower uh, so that's why you see that uh, the simulation is a bit slow but uh, after the simulation the catching is done we see that uh, things run a bit faster and see how we are retaining those shapes or those deformations just just uh, wait for it uh, you can always just go into the into catchy and just hit catch it uh, to bake all to bake all the simulations and uh, yeah, just preview everything but uh, let me first end the catcher there just to show you preview what we have you can see basically that's it uh, i you can continue to uh, to bake everything but uh, basically that's how you get uh, this kind of deformation uh, if your deformation yeah i think that's it yeah that's it actually no need for more explanation thank you for watching i'll see you in the next tutorial again if you want the, to learn the basics uh, you can just go watch uh, this tutorial series uh, you can also watch this tutorial series uh, i will also have uh, the project files up on my uh, download page or my patreon page uh, if you want to uh, support me that way thank you for watching